Hey guys, what's up? Alan here. Today back again with my boy Jono. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? So pretty much um, we are on a whole new mission today. We're in a place called Zorro. It's actually a trace that's a little side road that most people will drive past on the way to Las Cuevas. And pretty much um, there's two waterfalls up in here. There's Zorro Falls and there's Angel Falls. Today we're going to Zorro. Now, neither of us have ever been before. So just like you, we're going to be seeing everything for the first time and that's pretty exciting. As you would have seen from the opening of this video, you pretty much just drive past Maracas, um, head along that road on the way to Las Cuevas, and right before Las Cuevas, you'll see a right hand turn just off the side of the road, and it has a road sign saying Zorro. You swing up into there, and you drive literally until you cannot drive anymore. At which point in time, you'll reach a property where a very kind Rasta man is living, and he will allow you to park there to go on your hike if you pay about $40, $50 TT or so, which is a very reasonable price for what I've seen so far. So yeah, once um, you start that hike, you head off from his property and it's pretty much just a straight line following the river. A very short hike, we've been told, on the way up to Zorro. Yeah. Uh, Jono, what, what have you heard or what are you expecting of Zorro? Um, I haven't heard much. I don't know a lot of people who have been down here, to be honest. But down here is really nice. A lot of people growing fruits and vegetables all over. Cocoa trees, orange trees, all over. It's very crazy. It's nice. Very, very correct. So where we parked immediately as you jump out of the parking area, you notice there's a lot of orange trees and breadfruit and all kind of different stuff. The people up here really live this lovely kind of organic natural lifestyle, which wherever we go on these deep hikes, you love to see people living here. It's such a refreshing thing to see, to be honest. For sure. And um, yeah, so we've only been here for five minutes. I drove in, I'm making this little intro to the video, and now we're going to record and tell you about everything we see on our way until we reach the actual falls um, itself. So yeah, without further ado, Jono, we have to see. Let's go. Let's go. So we've reached the first fork in the road, you could say. And um, we've been told that pretty much for Zorro, you keep straight, follow the river. Whereas if you make any left turns, you may be on a path to Angel Falls, which is a much more difficult hike. Very nice and we'll do it in the future, but we're going for the simple one today. So make sure whenever you're heading to Zorro, you don't swing off left anywhere. You just keep along the riverbed itself. So as you can see, that's a left hand turn up there. But we want to keep along the river and this little trail right here heading down that path. 
So we're gonna get going now. I think that's a private property too. And that's also a private property apparently. You know things and he's probably right. Because yeah, there's a the old sign. there's an old road going up there. We don't know what that is. So let's make moves. So we've just come out of this little trail here and we're following the river as planned. The John was already on the way up there, lead anyway. But this place is absolutely beautiful. So we made it a little ways in so far. I've been walking maybe for about 10 minutes so far. John was spotted a big spider. I don't know if you can see him there. My boy Spidey. <laughs> this place is beautiful, like Every step of the way is just beautiful. I can't stress that enough. I'm very, very impressed by what I've seen up in here so far. And very, very simple thus far as well. I don't know how much longer it'll be before we actually get there. But awesome little river. Even all the um, houses and landscaping and everything before you even get here is beautiful. Like I envy the people who get to live inside a place like this. It's truly spectacular. And John up there. Beautiful stuff. So we're about 15 minutes in. Now passing this big fallen tree. We've been going really slow. So if you actually do this hike, you'll probably be past this at 15 minutes. But it's really beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Everywhere you turn, there's someone, someone else to look at. Oh, maybe this is the left. Is it? So right after the fallen tree, we've came upon a left that looks like the trail to Angel Falls. We're not sure because we've never been, but it's my guess right now that this is the trail to Angel Falls. So let me show you what guys are working with. This little trail going up here. It's the only defined left trail that I've seen so far. So that might be it. So guys, um, I th I'm guessing we're about maybe three quarters of the way up right now. And as you'll see, we've just come up straight up the riverbed. I can't stress enough again, like beautiful. John was like super impressed as well too. Um, and now we've reached this kind of sandy area here below, as you can see. And that means I think that we're getting a little near to the actual waterfall itself, whereas it's mostly slippery rocks before. It's not too challenging, but you have to watch your footing for sure. And um, yeah, from here on in, it seems to be getting a little darker, a little more enclosed by the forest. So I'm taking that to mean that maybe we are near this beautiful, hopefully very cooling, refreshing waterfall. So I'm looking forward to it big time. And John was now the cameraman, by the way, if you didn't realize. <laughs> and then going really slow. So if you actually do this time, you probably pass this at this point.
So we're now going into a little bit of a darker area. It almost looks like a gorge. Um, yeah. No. Beautiful landscape. Again, slippery. Very slippery. So Alan is going through the gorge while I chose to go above. Let's keep on moving. Slippery up top though. If you don't mind getting wet, definitely stay down there. Yeah, I think we're close. Okay, so I'm guessing we're supposed to climb down here. They have a little rope. So just climb down this rope. Met up with this guy. This is where we're at right now. Let's keep going. Who is this guy? Oh, look! Woo! No drum! <laughs> I forget this shot. Head up that beautiful waterfall in. Oh, it's deep. It's deep, man? Eh? Yeah. Pretty deep. Slippery. Beautiful. So from here, I think you go up and over. So I'm seeing some ropes in the background. Let me give you all a look. Ah, ropes heading up this way. So I think that's the way we're gonna go because we have a lot of camera equipment. One nice little, little note to give you all. Um, they have a lot of little pools along the way, so you can stop many parts of, of this hike and just chill in a pool, get some fresh water. You don't even have to go up to Zorro. You can stop halfway. Just chill at a spot, you know? Alright, let's see Alan go up. Hi. Hi. Oh, well. It does look like the right spot. It's beautiful. There are people here. It's really nice. Oh, look. Woo! No drum. <laughs> to get this shot. Jono says it's very slippery. We think we've reached Zorro Falls. Um, so there's another pool behind us here. We're gonna obviously explore and look around a little bit more. But I think the falls is actually more of like a, a small falls with a beautiful pool to bathe. And it's absolutely beautiful up here. Now we were kind of expecting this. We did not expect it to be like a large waterfall type situation. It's more of a, let's say a small waterfall spring kind of vibe. But nonetheless, exactly what we're looking for today. A beautiful spot to cool off. A very easy hike, although I will make note that these, some of these rocks Real slippery, so take your time when you come in. Like I nearly lost all my camera again a little while ago down the road there. So pressure. But yeah, let's check it out and enjoy. It was like an actual fall. Like an actual, you know? Yeah. Like a going down. But I don't know, I might be wrong. Well, I guess look at the rocks here and see. Yeah. Woo! 
Is it? Yeah. Lol. So guys, absolutely fantastic story. As per usual, Jono again made the wrong decision and told us that um, Dong here was Angel Falls. What? Jono. We're going to Zoro. We don't even, you see, you're lying. Okay, you're lying. Okay, okay, fine, fine, <laughs> fine. I was caught in the lie this one time ever. It was my fault. And pretty much, we reached this beautiful pool Dong here, which I'll show you now. Jono's heading up. But we came here. And we thought to ourselves, right, we've made it. Turns out, one minute further, and we've really made it. So I'm gonna show you now. So guys, I apologize for the mix up. Here is the actual Angel Falls. No, Zorro, Zorro Falls. <laughs> Dan, this is amazing. I saw Wendy's. Where y'all from? I saw. I saw. Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah. Live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies And these girls going wild cause they flashing they is Liddy. Watch your steps cause these blocks be We grew up on that bad boy in 96 with Diddy Take a walk, come with me, let me show you what really go down Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli or crowns Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown City never sleeps, this the place the way hip hop was found Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store Subway stations with the maps and the cars Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on Statue of Liberty, we holding up the torch If they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York I look around as I'm viewing the city Skyscrapers and bridges, bright lights, fast life, Manhattan living Cross over downtown, welcome to the concrete The Nets to Barclays, the Mets to Yankees Ubers in yellow taxis, and why I'm I fitted with some butters, we her savvy When tight jeans was baggy From JFK to LaGuardia City that never sleeps insomnia Home of Junior Mafia So guys, Jono has just climbed up the waterfall And there's another big beautiful waterfall behind there So I'm gonna try and send the camera up with him To have a quick look I don't think there's a pool But the waterfall itself is quite spectacular So he's gonna have a look around for us I didn't think I could climb the rope, but finally got up. I'll have to pass the GoPro up using the rope. And now we reach somewhere beautiful. I saw. I saw. Indies. Indies. Yeah. Live free, live free, speak your peace. Stay humble, stay humble in these streets, yeah. In these streets. Playground parks with the trees and the cars Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost Bodegas on the It's really powerful on this one They ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies And these girls gone Guys, I now got done from up here Now I'm about to head back down Gonna toss this to Alan And keep rolling So 
guys, John has um, lost his footwear. Sadly, it busts up. He's now rolling uh, barefoot to the hike. Ground yourself. Natural Gr footwear. Yeah, natural <laughs> grounding. I'll keep it on grounded tanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my feet hurt. I'm he's, slipping all over the place. He's slipping all over the place like a slippery snapper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take two steps without slipping. Go on, head on down, boy. I just cut my foot. Did you, honestly? Yeah. Well, that sucks. I don't do anything to impress us anymore then. <laughs> On this week's edition of what kind of plant do we have today, Jono, the plant, the resident plant expert will tell us more about it. This is a peanut tree. A peanut tree. As you can see, the little green peanuts grow naturally <laughs> on the moss. Beautiful peanut tree. I've never seen one in real life like this. <laughs> Woo! There's the big peanut. And that's where your nuts <laughs> come from, guys. <laughs> Mr. Shoes, how are you know shoes go in? It hurts. It hurts? Always bring good shoes, guys. So guys, all in all, as I said, I think a million times on this hike, extremely beautiful, like, definitely up there with one of the better ones I've been on. <laughs> Just basically because there's ease of access and your John is literally behind me laughing because he keeps nearly falling because his shoes let him down on this no, trip. No, I laugh because you almost fell there. I didn't nearly fall, that's a lie. <laughs> I've never fallen in my life. I have the ultimate balance. It's been fantastic, honestly. We're about three quarters away heading back now. I'll rate this hike, Jono, from one to ten. What do you rate this hike? Um, up to the, the first pool, I would rate it maybe like a, like a three or four. Three I don't or think four. It was hard at all. I agree. I would say a four because they have one or two parts that you need to um, like pull yourself over. Yeah. But definitely not up there with the more difficult hikes. And definitely up there with some of the most beautiful, to be honest. Short, sweet, and fantastic. So yeah, we're heading out a little bit now to film a little bit more and then we'll say our goodbyes when we get down to the car. And John is going to keep slipping and falling down behind me. I ain't falling, man. Oh, you are falling. I ain't never fell. I ain't never scared. <laughs> Woo! Oh, almost fell. <laughs> what are you doing, man? The only non-slippery rock. Yo guys, so we finally um, reached back out from the hike. It was amazingly beautiful, not very difficult. Um, Jono, what would you rate this hike out of 10? Um, it'll be up there, probably like an 8. Like an 8 or really 10, I think? It, yeah, yeah. What would you say is where the difficulties on the hike and thing that you experienced? Um, my shoes busting up. <laughs> um, getting sliced on my foot. But besides that, if you have proper shoes and stuff, should be good to go. The only thing that was really hard was probably climbing, climbing the rope to get to the extra waterfall. Correct. Yeah. So I actually didn't even climb up the rope because I have a bad shoulder. But the waterfall that we got to before the rope is completely beautiful. There's no need to climb the rope unless you want a little extra pizzazz on your arm, on your hike. But um, yeah, other than that too, the only thing I would say to watch out for is they have some really slippery parts. So when you're walking through, take your time, make sure you're aware of your footing and everything, and you'll be good to go. So yeah, guys, thank you very much. This is the end of the vlog today. Zora Falls, we rate it highly. This is our first time and it was, did not disappoint in any way. We got no a, garbage. No, no garbage. garbage. I literally didn't see one piece of garbage. So you guys do not bring your garbage here. I know most of you are fantastic people, but anybody watching this and having an idea coming here, do not bring your garbage here. Don't bring it anywhere in fact. But please, you know, like I'm trying my best to like let people in Trinidad Tobago see where they can go, what they can do. But the people in these areas do appreciate it if people show up here from seeing this vlog and then leave garbage bags, styrofoam, bottles. Don't do that. Take it all home, be a normal, decent person, and we'll all be able to enjoy a dread. That's, you know, simple, simple math. Two plus two is four. <laughs> very simple man so yeah guys thank you very much again from me and Jono it was a great trip please like and subscribe don't forget to tag on social media the hashtag Trini underscore surfer and TT unseen those are the two hashtags you can use on social media to get your photos and your videos of Trinidad and Tobago discovered and now let Jono have the, the let Jono have the <laughs> and now Jono <laughs> I can do it and Jono is going to have the closing words now guys guys get out and explore get out and beautiful. explore was Bye. it beautiful? It was, it was. It was very beautiful. Beautiful. That's why. <laughs> Get away.
just a little bonus footage for you guys this is the area where we've came and parked this is a private privately owned property so be, be very very respectful if you come down here you know i don't know the man personally he was there when we came we approached him very kindly and um we spoke to him about paying a little bit of money to park here for a couple of hours he said around 40 or 50 is good he was not you know he was very reasonable he was not even expecting it as such but it's the right thing to do make sure and pay help all the people in the area if you're going to use their land and different things to park and do and go on your um, journeys always respect the people in wherever area you go respect the land by not polluting and just be a decent person and then all of trinidad hopefully will start to be more friendly to everybody around and it's a beautiful beautiful property lots of fruit lots of lovely um basically homegrown food and stuff you know they live in a great life out there and it's truly truly beautiful i wish i owned a property like this to be honest and of course right next to the property you just come across here through the banana trees and here's the river that we just went up takes you all the way up to zoru so yeah have a beautiful week everyone like and subscribe peace out